Hello, and welcome back to Undertale. Now, where we last left off, we, uh, we're continuing with Goat Mom. Anyways, so, ready? Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. I wonder what that is. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, so sweet. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. I love the music. It's Toriel's Diary. Read the circled passage. Hmm, should we? I think we should. You read the passage. Why did this? Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> bonely. Room under renovation. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Inside the cupboard are cookie killers for gingerbread monsters. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Stub top is very clean. Toriel must have used fire magic instead. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. 
No, be a good child. You can go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh no, we got... Oh no, we gotta fight Goat Mom. Toriel looks through you. What are you doing? I'm sparing your ass. Try to tell me what you're what I'm doing. Attack or run away. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Toriel's acting a lord. Fight me or leave. Stop it. <laughs> Stop looking at me that way. Go away. Toriel is acting alone. Toriel is acting alone. Takes a deep breath. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you, dear. I know we don't have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, and my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Well, that was a depressing ending to the first fight. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's killed or be killed. So you're able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee 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 hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? 
you'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you're you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out your frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regenocide. This is so much more interesting. Wow. He's a major douche. Whoa, that was creepy. Ooh, sand? I think that was sand. Someone's... I played through this part already. Sorry. I was trying to make it seem like I had it, but I did. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? Turn around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Don't do you want to look? No, I don't want to have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. We'll capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lap will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it.
Okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but would you do me a favor? I was thinking my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. That the convenience of the lamp still fills you with determination. Why? So, so, as I was saying about undying. Just listen to the music. I love it. Sans. Oh my god. Is that a human? And it looks so familiar. I think it looks familiar because it's a rock. Ow! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it. A nine will. I'm gonna. I'll be so popular, popular, popular. <clears throat> human. You shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, I went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. So, that was Papyrus and Sands. They're an interesting bunch. Ring, ring. Hey. Is your refrigerator running? Nice. I'll be over to deposit the briskets. Collect. Well, I think that was Sands. Well, now we're facing the Snow Drake. <laughs> Woohoo, spared it. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Don't move an inch. What? I've been pet? Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to think about it. To keep it in mind. My bad. 
Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop sign's red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think of about blue stop signs. Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, Cavalier, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very, very far away. Thank you and good luck. So we're just nice to the poor little snowman who wanted to see the world. Really though, that human? Do I know that person? Do you not know? Who would, who you know? Of course I know who I know. I wanted to know if you know. I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know. <laughs> That's an awful. You know? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Speak of the devil. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. Where you see this is an invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you'll uh, probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, let's try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle is not be easy. It is designed by my brother Stan. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> So, this is where I'm going to leave it off now. Um, I know I'm backtracking to the save point. But, I was, it was getting a little later. And, um, I just don't want to deal with all of that right now. So, anyways... Uh, if you, please, drop a like, support's much needed, uh, comment your thoughts, subscribe, and stay chaotic.